Hi there guys, here's just a quick guide on how to customise these button templates to your liking. Um, they're all pretty much based on the same design but with a bit of flexibility um, already built into them so you can change them to whatever suits. Let's just go through the buttons first. You'll, when you first open up your PSD this is what you'll see. If you turn off this subscribe section you've got just a normal button and then we have a slightly more matte version that's got a colour change on it which of course you can turn off and then we've got a menu item button here so you can actually spread these across and have multiple buttons lined up to make a drop down menu if you're looking to be doing that in coding um, provided two sets of subscribe buttons uh, let's just turn off the effects that's all they are let's that one and then there's this one which is the purple version <coughs> uh, there we go. oh let's turn let's turn this one back on at the moment turn the effects back on and then we just have a round button in each folder you'll find you've got your actual button shape I've rasterized that out for you you'll have a hue and saturation for the button and then you'll have the text layer which will have effects that you can just change and alter the colors you can change gradient overlay to color overlay etc again so how do we change them go back to this original button you'll see the original version uncolorized is that with <coughs> no color onto it so if you want to change the color all you do is to click on this color change heat saturation adjustment layer and click on the little icon double click it and you should get your little properties come up and then all you just need to do is slide the slider until you found the colour that you like or that suits your theme and you can change the saturation if you want more of a solid colour and look horrible or you can change the lightness and darkness but I wouldn't recommend that the hue values are all set up at hit the beginning so we'll just reset it and that's basically the basic colour change then if you come onto the text you can obviously change it to anything you like and if it appears to be going off or going to type big, too big just come into your text layer, press con hold down control and click the original button and that will make a selection around it. Grab your move tool and then just press click on this little icon here that will align it vertically and then click here for the horizontal and then you may want to adjust the size of the text if it's coming too big so do that you just press Control and T that brings transform and if you hold down shift and alt while dragging one these buttons it will actually resize it based on the center of your text so it will still be perfectly center once you've done it and then if you want to add some color to it you just click, click the gradient overlay and you can either change your gradient in here or you can change the scale or the angle or you can turn off the gradient overlay and come in and do a colour overlay and come in and just choose a nice colour you can also then come along to outer glow and you can add an outer glow if you so wish but 
I don't like it. Okay, and the printable applies so that once you've gone back, you've gone through your main changes. I'm just going to take it back to how you would have it. Let me just check that's still centered. It is. So once you've done that, then you decide, <coughs> like the example provided here, it's actually subscribe button. So you might want the actual radial subscribe buttons. So you can just come over here and just add that group and change the colors, effects if you want to. It's all the same principle. And then just save them as a PNG format. If you want to do like rollover images, then obviously you can because you can just actually um, let's just demonstrate that if I just crop this down to here apply it and then I can go to file save as actually uh, I'll go back into the butter so my desktop's really messy at the moment so I've got a lot of work on if I go back into here and just save it as a PNG ok then I can come into here and then change the hue saturation adjustment layer like here and I can go back and go to save as PNG um, which one did we save there we go and just underscore roll over and then you've got exactly the same image save twice that you can come into Dreamweaver or whatever image coding program you're using image coding websites oh Dreamweaver there you go if I just come into here and go to file new just do HTML that's fine and if I come into body I can just come up to here, go to insert image, scroll to my desktop, find my buttons folder that I did just save to. If I can come open that, and then you see that's already into your website, or if you want to do it as a rollover, sorry, I should have said done this one again. Click this little arrow, click the rollover image. To click your first one, press OK. Click your second one. Button. OK. Um, we're not going to put in a link. Click OK. And you've just come to your live feed, it should do it OK. Over here, you just roll over and that's your basic rollover image done like that okay well thank you for looking at the template and i hope it's of use to some of you have fun with it